In this video, let me simplify two Boolean functions using kmap. Simplify the following Boolean functions using kmap. Here two functions are giving, we supposed to simplify using kmap. Let me consider the first function that is f of w x y z is equal to pi. These are the max term. As we know, in max term, we have to give zeros in corresponding cell number. So here, two, cell number 2 is 0. Let me enter 0. Cell number 3 is 0. 8, 9 are zeros. Similarly, 10, 11. This is 10, 11 is 0. 12, 13 is 0. 14, 15 is 0. We are supposed to enter 1 in remaining cells. Let this is Wx and this is Yz. So as we know, in max term, we are supposed to do the grouping of zeros. So here we can do the group of 8 zeros. In max term, we are supposed to do the grouping of zeros. So this can be the group of 8 zeros. Now let me write the expression for this. So in max term, 1 is corresponding to complement of the variable and 0 is corresponds to direct variable. So here in these two rows, 1 is common. So 1 is with respect to W bar. So here it is W bar. So value of this group is W bar. Now similarly here we have two zeros. So this two zeros and these two zeros can become a quad. I can do the group of four zeros using these two. So let me consider this zero and these two zeros. So let me write the values. So here corresponding to these two columns that is one one and one zero. 1 is common. So 1 is with respect to y. So we have to take complement of y. That is y bar. Here it is y bar. Now in this row and in this row 0 is common. This 0 is common. So as we know in max term 0 is with respect to direct variable. So here we supposed to use plus x. Plus x. So therefore the value of this function is that is f is equal to we have w bar into we have y bar plus x. So this is the simplified boolean expression of this given function. Now let me consider the second example. Here we have min terms 6, 7, 9, 10, 13 and these are the don't care values. Now let me write the k map. So here let this is a, b and this is c, d. 6, 7, 9. So these are all, all our min terms. So in these corresponding cells we have to write 1. That is 6 is 1, 7 is 1. So 9 is 1. We have 10 is 1 and 13 is 1. So these are the don't care cell numbers where we supposed to put cross mark. That is don't care. These are the don't cares. That is 1. So we have to represent don't care by cross mark like this. 4. This is don't care. 5 is don't care. 11. This is 11 is don't care. And 15 is don't care. So now we supposed to write zeros in remaining cells. So here I can do these two ones and these two x together as a group of, you can call it as squared. The value of this is, so here the cell values, here the column value is 0, 1. 0 is with respect to complement of C and 1 is with respect to D. The value of this is C bar T. So now here we have two ones. So these two ones can be grouped with xx so that I can do the grouping of 4. We will call it as squared. 
so that is i can do the quad that is like this so now here the value of this is we have 0 1 0 is with respect to a bar 1 is with respect to b the value of this is a bar b so here we have one more one so this one can be do the pair with this don't care value i can do let me use other color that is this one and x together can do a pair the value of this is so if this is correspond to this row here the value is a b bar that is a b bar now here with respect to these two column the common value is one so one is with respect to c that is a b bar c so now we should make sure that all ones are covered so here all ones are covered we supposed to stop this process therefore the simplified boolean function is f is equal to we have c bar d plus a bar b plus a b bar c thank you for watching